Hi, it's Barbara Michelle. Thank you for joining me for another scrapbook page process video. For this layout, I'm going to be doing some mixed media. I'll start out with using this modeling tapes. I got it out of the jar with my spatula because that little gift card didn't fit into the mouth of the jar. But then after I got it out of the jar, you saw that I put it on the gift card so I could spread it on my page. And I'll have to dry it. Uh, I just cut most of it out. But a little bit of the drawing is there. And you can see it warped my paper just a bit. Next I'm going to mat and layer my photo on the scraps from my scrap bin. Uh, I just tried to use the, I like the blues and then those peachy, peachy, uh, peachy pinks and the light pink. Um, so I'm just seeing which, what order I want the layers to go in. I pick up that paper there, but I don't end up using that that blue one with the wavy lines. So I'll take that off in a moment. So the picture is of my daughters, Emma and Michaela. So I think they were maybe five and four, or maybe six and six and four in this photo. And they're in the bathtub, and they are playing with some shaving cream. Um, they had played with some shaving cream earlier in the week at their daycare. Uh, not in the bathtub, of course, but they were just on a table. They just, like, spread some plastic over the table and let the kids go crazy. It was, they had a great time. Oh, uh, that piece right there, that piece of paper, wasn't quite long enough, so I just tore it in half, and now I'm just adjusting it to get the right am the amount I want to peek out. I say the right amount, but I'm sure it was fine before. Um, now I'm just backing my, my uh, white paper onto this blue cloud paper. I'll cut off a half an inch around two sides of the white and then I'm just going to add a lot of glue to it or tape um, because it was warped when I put the modeling tape on and I'm just trying to get it to flatten out a bit. But the blue paper I chose is not very thick. So later I also put some cardstock behind it but I'm not sure that I show that. So um, I wanted to add a little bit of a light blue color to my background, and so I'm using this Dilution Spray, I think it's London Fog. It's a little too blue for me, so now I'm just spraying it, spraying it with water, hoping that it will um, dilute it enough to get just a light blue. Well, that doesn't quite work, and so I take a baby wipe and wipe as much of the color off as, as I can. And also ends up spreading the color throughout most of the page. I like the way it turns out at the end. But next time I want a light blue, I might uh, dilute it first. Maybe add some water to that. Maybe add a little bit of color to my water bottle instead. Okay, so now I'm adding one more layer to my photo. It's just a piece of vellum. And uh, it's a little bit long at the bottom. So I'm just going to use my trimmer to cut it off. Probably could have used some scissors at that point, but my trimmer was handy. And then I'll glue down the photo to my page. After this, I'm going to add some journaling lines to the page. And it's just what I said, how they were playing at the... Well, I can get back to the story, I guess. Earlier in the week when they were at the daycare, they had a good time playing with the shaving cream. So we did it when they got home, you know, just as an activity. Um, and they were playing in the kitchen first, just in some shallow baking pans, but it was getting messy real quick. So we moved to the bathtub, and the cleanup was much easier then. Okay, here I'm punching some circles from some vellum, different size, small, medium, large. I think one inch, I don't, I don't really know the other one, but one of them was a one inch circle. And I'm going to scatter them throughout uh, throughout the page. Kind of like bubbles, even though they weren't in a bubble bath and they were mm, they were in a foam kind of a bath. But I think it went well. I didn't want to have too many um colors on the layout, so that allowed me to have some different texture and I really like the way it looks. And I'm just gonna glue those little circles down with some got quick dry adhesive. You can see the glue a little bit through the vellum, but it just adds to the depth of the bubble look, so it wasn't very distracting. 
This is a little acetate piece that says love with a heart on it. And I just attached it with my tiny attacher. And then I'm going to add these clear um, rhinestone pieces, just a few throughout the page. And I believe these are from the dollar store. Uh, I got a whole bunch of different colors. And they're already sticky on the back, which is very nice. If I could hold on to them. And that will be the last thing I do. This will be the end of my layout. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this process video. Thumbs up and subscribe below if you'd like to see more.